424 more drivers out of work a day before payday. Let's talk about LME. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark and uh, this back here is United Road. We're going to talk about LME today. LME, otherwise known as Logistics Made Easy, closed abruptly on Thursday, the day before payday. Told everybody to come in, turn in your truck, and you won't be paid. Don't you love that? 424 drivers, no pay for them today, presumably. Why is this a scummy thing more than it is already? Because LME used to be Lakeville Motor Freight. Remember them? A couple of years ago, they closed right before Thanksgiving to boot the union out of there. They closed, didn't pay anybody for that, went to court, were ordered to pay. When was that payment supposed to start? Huh, right now. 60 days from April 30th, 2019. That's probably 60 business days. That's right around now. So this place closed. This is the same company, even though they say it isn't. What they did is close that place and down the street open, they closed Lakeville Motor Express, open LME down the street. Same trucks, same managers, same freight, same customers, all the same. They open it all the same. And now that they got to pay, they're like, no, we're not going to pay. We're going to close and hose these people out of money as well. It stinks. This guy that does this right, scumbag, it's a scum thing to do, of course. It stinks, you shouldn't do it. Where does this leave us? What do we learn from this? Number one, uh, even they have 30 terminals, but they're all pretty much local as far as I could see. Everybody got back to their terminal, so everybody at least is at their house. Nobody is stuck anywhere. Okay, other problems, right? Always have money to get back home. Always be ready to get a job. Look, I've been at my place for 17 plus years. I'm ready to get a job tomorrow if I need to. I know a couple places in town where I would go probably, and I'm ready with a resume just like that. You should be too. Don't think you're gonna retire from a place you never know what's gonna happen. They can close. They opened up as a new place right down the street with the same people. Now they close that up because he's just not gonna pay. He's just not gonna pay. Why, are these, why is somebody not in jail for this? That's the real problem. Why do people not go to jail for this kind of thing? Thing. Why is it only a civil penalty? If you owe someone wages and you just refuse to pay it, you should be jailed and all of your assets taken, sold to pay these people. Every one of those trucks, everything should be sold to pay the people. The people that did this, the owner of the place, whatever, jail, jail. That's how it should be. Unfortunately, that's not how it is. It's a slap on the wrist, a civil penalty. Nothing will probably hardly ever happen to him. That's what I anticipate. And I'm sorry, you 424 drivers, at least these are in major cities. You'll probably get a job. It's going to be a long time before you ever see a dime of that money, and you probably never see any of it. And uh, that's sad. LME, another one down the tubes, all right? All right, so who's next? Which place is next? I want to know who's going to close next week. Oh, my God. We'll be back soon with the next one. Thanks for watching.